So sometimes I think, why not turn something that seems basic into something kind of fancy? This is my version of fajitas, but stuffed so that your friends are now wooed and wow when they come over for dinner. So I'm gonna pound out a little bit of venison, but in the meantime, I'm gonna work on the stuff that's gonna go inside the actual stuffing, right? So I got julienned um, onions, which are pretty much little slices of onions that I'm sauteing. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of bell pepper. Now, I wanna add different colors of bell pepper so that it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna do a little bit of red. I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow and orange. And that way you got all the rainbow colors in there. You're gonna get a little fancy. Now we wanna make sure that these bell peppers and onions are nice and caramelized so we get all the goody flavors out of there, like the sweetness. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic to that. And I'm gonna put some thyme in there and I'm just gonna put the whole sprig in there because once it cooks, the leaves sort of come off of there. And you can obviously yank some of it off and I'm just gonna leave that in there and a little bit of rosemary. We're gonna pepper this, add a little bit of salt. Now while that's cooking and don't forget that it's there, we're gonna pound out our meat. And the reason I like to do this is we want it to be almost like a nice little sheet that we sort of stuff. So do not destroy this piece of meat. You gotta make sure that you pound it out sort of slow and fragile. Now I got plastic wrap, a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick, and we're just gonna pound this out. Okay, I'm gonna stop to tell you guys that this is why my muscles look the way they do. There we go, guys. So it's nice and even, right? Now you do need to figure out how to tie this guy. And if you wanna go for it, you can do it just toothpicks, but I'm gonna tie it because I do wanna have a nice presentation. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of twine in advance and I want two pieces. We're just gonna tie two ends of it. Okay, we are gonna season our meat as well. Little pepper, little salt. We're gonna put the bell pepper right in the middle. Make sure you get some of those herbs in there too. Now you know you can make a bunch of these in advance as well. So you're gonna just grab this, push the bell peppers in and try to go as tight as you can. And it's so cool to have the bell peppers come out of the side, so don't worry about that part. You're gonna lift this up. You're gonna tie this on one end. Okay, you're gonna tie it on the other end. Then we're gonna cut the excessive string off just so that it doesn't burn on the grill. Okay, then we're gonna put this back on the grill. And as you guys can see, I'm literally grilling it for maybe 30 seconds, not even, maybe 20 seconds on each side, and I'm going one, two, three, four. We're gonna keep it just like that so that it's still medium rare, and then we're gonna make sure that we let it sit before we cut it as well. I'm gonna take it right off the grill. You always wanna let it sit there for a minute. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is just take off the, the twine. Now we're gonna cut this at an angle. Oh yeah. Gonna add a little bit of teriyaki on top of that. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic chips on that. And voila guys, you have now taken fajitas into a very elegant way. We'll see you guys next time on The Sporting Chef.